Good morning, students. I hope all is well. Today, we are talking about electron configuration, but we first got to start with our bell work. So our processing from last week should be over, or over the last unit, should be over the 2.3, which is the history of the atom. And so our processing question is, which scientist was the first to use the term atomos, which means individual, indivisible? Go ahead and hit pause while you answer this question. Remember, you can refer to the notes on the right-hand side, um, and then I'll meet you at the new notes, which is electron configurations in just a second. Okay, electron configurations is 2-4. 2-4, electron configuration. This is page 15. Hopefully we're keeping up with that. Can't believe we're already at 15 pages of notes. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Electron configurations are, our definition is um, like the address of the electrons. We all have home addresses, hopefully we know those, um, but this tells us our address of our electrons because that becomes important. In the next unit, we're going to talk about them bonding, and so we need to know their addresses and we need to know what they do. Some important vocab here, we have the Aufbau principle, obviously it's German, um, and it's the building up principle, and all this means is we're starting um, with the first element, with hydrogen, and build our way up from there, okay? On to the poly-exclusion principle. Poly-exclusion principle just says that no two electrons can have the same address. And so that's kind of like you in your house, right? You hopefully, or maybe you have a room that's to yourself. And so that's your specific address. And so that's where you keep that. All right. And that's where we're at. One other item that we need to talk about here, we have our energy levels, which is the row or the period, the elements are, or the electrons are in. And then we have sub levels, which is obviously a part of the overall level. So a part of the energy level. And then we have four different types of sublevels. We have the S sublevel, which is very small. It can only hold two electrons. And this is found, um, we're going to do some coloring when you're in class, but this is like groups one and two. So please don't color yet. We'll do that together in class whenever I see you guys next. Okay. Then we have our P orbital or our P sublevels. This can hold up to six electrons. And this is our groups. Um, 13 through 18. Again, we'll do coloring when we get to class or actually outlining, but yeah, none, nonetheless. All right, our Ds are 10 electrons, and this is our groups 3 through 12. And then last but not least, our F orbital can hold up to 14 electrons, and these are those ones at the bottom. These are our bottom um, layer electrons, but we'll, again, we'll take care of this hopefully in class, okay? So what we have here, according to the Aufbau principle, you always start with the lowest energy, which is the hydrogen electron or the first electron, and then build your way out. Well, this is the pattern that you need to follow. All right. So we're going to follow that pattern and use these restrictions up here, 2, 6, 10, and 14, and fill our electron configurations. And remember from our 2, 1 video, right now our protons equal our electrons. Right now our protons equal our electrons. So if we know our atomic number, we know how many electrons we have. So you need your periodic table handy. So if you don't have it, hit pause, go grab it. All right, we look at this first one. We look and see hydrogen. Hydrogen is the element H, and it has one proton, so it has one electron. Okay, so we always start, we're always going to start right here with 1s. So we're going to say 1s. If we look up here, we can see that s can hold up to two electrons, but we really only need to place one. So as a superscript, we're going to put a 1 up there. And this is the electron configuration for hydrogen, 1s1. Okay, let's try a little bit more difficult one and kind of go from there. I'm going to go to a different color so we can kind of see uh, as we're going here. Okay, so we've got carbon. We find carbon. It is six. It has six electrons. Okay, so we again, we always start right here. So we're going to say 1s2 because remember s can hold up to two electrons. So we filled up that S. Now we need to keep rolling on our line. We go to 2S. Well, 2S again can hold two electrons. So we say 2S2. 
Now we've placed four. If we add up our superscripts, we've placed four. We need to place two more. So we go to the next place on our line. It is 2p. So we've got 2p. It can hold up to six, but we only need it to hold two. So we just say 2p2. This is the electron configuration for carbon. All right. Hopefully that's making sense to you. Let's try chlorine is next. We'll keep rolling here. Again, we'll change color. Let's go green this time. Chlorine is a little bigger. We've got 17 electrons. Okay, so we always start right here. Always going to start at that 1s. So we're going to say 1s2 because that's how many can s hold, right? So let's go on. 2s. All right, that's our next step. 2s2. Right? We've placed four of our 17, so we got to keep rocking. Now we go to 2p. 2p can hold six. This time we needed to hold all six. 2p6. All right, we've placed 10, we need to keep rolling. So we go to 3s, 3s2, we've placed 12 of our uh, 17, we need to keep rolling, so we look at 3p, 3p. P can hold up to six, but we have eight, 10, 12 already placed. We only need five, so we're gonna say 3p5. And that entire thing is the electron configuration for chlorine. Awesome. Let's try one last one. We've got 10. It's a little bigger. All right. So again, we're still going to follow that little path. Let's go um, and blue. All right. So 10, we find 10. It's SN. There are 50 electrons. Oh, goodness. We've got some work to do. Okay. So we're going to start always right here. So we're going to say, I'm going to roll this up. So hopefully we can remember 1S2. All right, keep rolling. Now we've got 2s2. All right, 2p, 2p6. We've now placed 10 of our 50, which means we get to keep rolling. So we go 3s, 3s2, right? S's can only hold two. All right, 3p, Woo, 3p6. That gives us 18. All right, so we got to keep rolling. 4s, 4s2. We're now at 20. 3D. Oh, man, we haven't seen one of these before. So we go up to D. D's can hold 10 electrons. Awesome. That helps us build up our number a little bit. So we're at 3D10. That's 30 of our 50. So we've got to keep going. All right. Keep rolling. 4P6. All right. Then we have 5S2. That takes us through um, 38. Ooh, a D again. That's helpful. 4d10. That's 48. Oh, goodness. We're so close. We have 48 placed. So we're going to say 5p2. And that's our electron configuration for 10. Okay. Good luck.